is virtually here. Uncle Sam says carry on polluting. And Madge dumps Michael for Channel 4. The waiting should be over for game console fanatics, but it's not. PlayStation 2 went on sale at midnight, but only 165,000 have been shipped over, and they were all pre-booked. Sony reckons it's working overtime to make more units for Britain, so kids aren't too disappointed at Christmas. For some, the excitement's already proving too much. I've got tomorrow off work, so I'll be playing this all day tomorrow. And uh, I've got the weekend as well, and I, I think I might book next week off as well. America has bullied the world into not cutting planet-threatening pollution. Despite loud protests from the civilised world, it prompted tears by telling the climate conference in the Netherlands that planting more trees would solve the problem. New Labour held all four seats in yesterday's by-election but suffered a huge drop in support in each of West Bromwich West, Preston and the late Donald Dewar's constituency of Annesland. At least we didn't have to wait three weeks for a result. Here's one traffic jam you'd love to have been caught in. Drivers in Seattle watch with glee as the doors of an armoured car burst open, spilling cash onto the freeway. The less honest were quick to fill their wallets just before the dollar bill arrived. If you've ever doubted that this is the channel to stay tuned to, listen to Madonna. B-bosses are furious with the Queen of Pop for pulling out of an interview with mighty Michael Parkinson. Her reason? She wanted to give an exclusive to Channel 4 instead. Here's the sport. It was another cruel night for British football in Europe, this time in the UEFA Cup. Barnby and Gerrard both hit the spot for Liverpool. But the Greek side Olympiakos also struck twice, the equaliser coming seconds from the final whistle. The checkbook's still open at Elland Road. Robbie Keane is apparently next on Leeds' wanted list, having just about wrapped up an £18 million deal to buy West Ham's Rio Ferdinand. That's the Big Breakfast News, Sun's at the House with the Weather.